Hey Gemini, what's going on? This is Solo's Tarot here to bring you a quick, it may not be so quick, but this is a mid-March reading 2021 for you Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or whatever it falls into your chart. Take out the time to subscribe and like the videos if the videos are useful, like them if they're not, check with other readers or something like that. Um, but... Let's go ahead and get right on into it. This is for Gemini's. This is um, for any time in between now and the end of the month. This is just a general reading, so anything stands out and anything goes. <laughs> Let's see what the universe has coming. It's highlighted for Gemini's. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. When it comes to Gemini's, what message is highlighted for Gemini's? Okay, you know, we got some little shit going on with that. Confidence, Gemini, Leo energy, but you need to know that confidence is the key to success. So keeping your confidence up because the energy is gaining momentum here. Mm. Something's growing and you do got luck on your side, Gemini, so you just got to keep up the work. Make sure that you remain confident about what you're doing. Don't second guess yourself because it looks like you're on the right path. This is a new moon in Leo energy coming in. So this is coming in strong and courageous. Um, definitely about your courage at this point. So let's see. Now we do have three, three things that came out at once. So I do feel like this has something to do just with one particular situation. We got... Um, your hard work is paying off, communication is the key, and adjustments are required. Now, all of those are sitting stagnated, but they're looking like they're on their way up. Um, it may be some things that you may need to adjust. We're going to talk about all three of these energies real quick before we move on and see what exactly they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Sorry if you're hearing all the, the grass cutting, but they're getting down. <laughs> Finally a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> so when it comes to your hard work is paying off in limbo, it's coming out with communication is the key. So it's somewhere as Gemini. This is dumb. This is your energy. So it may be some things that you may need to say and watch out for. This is all new energy that's coming in but it could be some adjustments that need to be required that are required to be done from something that um that was left over from the third quarter before the new moon came in so basically mm, like a week ago maybe <coughs> to maybe a week and a half ago i want to say um, it could have been some things that needed to be adjusted around that time before the new moon actually came in. The new moon was pretty much the day before yesterday. So this is playing out for a new beginning. This is Aries energy. Show me you could be dealing with a Capricorn, another Gemini, or a Leo, or of course an Aries. Mm -hmm. But this is about taking that leap into a new beginning when it comes down to the two of cups energy so your hard work whatever it is that you're working on that's pertaining to this connection it's paying off and it's on its way it's a little stuck right now i don't know if it's stuck because you're allowing it to be stuck it may be something that you're waiting on it may have something to do with these adjustments that need to be um handled but Let's see what the communication is about. Communication is the key in limbo for Gemini. Please clarify. It's, it's, it may be some things that you haven't said that you need to say, you know, to it's time for you to go ahead and speak about some shit that hasn't been spoken. It's two-sided energy in Gemini. You know that you are the king or the queen of, of bringing in those dual energies. Um, now, it could be some unseen energy that you could be turning your back to. It's probably time for you to speak on up on these things. 
This has something to do with pondering up with the situation, a person, or uh, maybe a place. But this is more than probably working with more, like more two, with two or three people or a little more. No more than two people at the most. But, I mean, at the least, I'm going to say, because you can't do it by yourself, especially partnering up unless you're dealing with your higher self here. I don't know what other energies you're working with. That's not my business. But this is about improving some type of energy of coming together here. This is a direction here that, that's, that's being looked at, being taken. So before we get in deep into these, into the clarifications, because I'm going to break all of this down. I just want to get them all out because this is about partnering up. The conclusions are coming here for you. You're looking at a decision. Now, whatever this decision is, is that you're looking at, you feel like you, you got what you need for it. You feel like you, you already have your hands on this situation here. And whatever this is, you're, you're looking towards it to go towards it. You're headed towards this Two of Cups energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing also with the Cancer Leo Cups. I'm seeing that energy here. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. Now... You're looking to, you, you have everything that you need and your hand is on the prize. You just have to head in that direction, Gemini. Now, I feel like you have guidance and help to help you along the way to go towards this energy to help you communicate also. Now, it could be some things when it comes down to traveling. Some of you may be looking to travel. I want to give a message to travel, but you may feel like this could be a travel over land. It could be a travel overseas. This looks like it's kind of far off if you ask me. But um, it could be some delays around this. Um, and, 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 and with those delays, you may feel like someone may turn their back to you. I think you just need to communicate about it. I think that's where the communication is the key at. Now, we're going to go ahead and... Um, Clarify the adjustments are required in limbo, please. Clarify the adjustments are required. What you're waiting on. <laughs> you're waiting on something. Are uh, you waiting on something to take place or something to come towards you so you can be able to make adjustments to the situation? But it's something that you're waiting on. And this could have something to do with travel as well. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo energy. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy is here. Strong Virgo energy is here. This Cancer um, Leo cups is here pretty. If I'm saying cups, cups, cups. I don't know how to say it. Cups. <laughs> but it's here and I feel like this energy right here you know this coming in you know some somebody's coming in fast now coming in fast to finish something here something that you know something that they've been um something that they've been keeping a secret that's probably going to get ready to be revealed to you it's going to come in pretty fast and it has, it, it, it may be coming in, have, you know, because they don't, it, it, want, it helps get the situation out of the cold. Um, it helps take it out. And, and it's needing courage <laughs> for when it comes down to making a decision, you may need to be strong about it. It, it goes back to having the confidence um, when it comes down to making these adjustments and having the confidence and the strength to be able to choose wisely. Or whatever the situation may be or making sure that whatever options and decisions is being chosen that they're for the best now in this case normally i see this i see this this man in the shadows kind of looking at particular shit now over here he was he's looking at towards this prison now i don't know if he's feeling like he may be entrapped in the situation or imprisoned in the situation but you know in, in reaching his hands for some things that he's not really looking at so you got to be kind of careful 
about, and I don't know why I'm, 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 I'm specifying this. I talked about this in another reading very heavy recently. So these having the strength to have these choices, but you already feel like you know the answers and you've been just keeping them to yourself. But now you're coming in, coming in fast, and this could cause a catastrophe. This could cause, this could cause, a, this could cause a whirlwind of bullshit if you're not careful about it. Especially when it comes down to coming in, because somebody could be coming in, rushing in to put someone out. Um, yeah. So, you know, and that's for some people. So you got to be careful about how you, how you go about it. I don't really see much strategy when it comes down to this Knight of Swords energy. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So Gemini, this could be you. And when you're coming in kind of fast, I, and, and sometimes I guess, you know, you, you put, sometimes we've spent a little too much time thinking of situations, a lot of thought, thinking, a lot of thinking. And so sometimes we just got to strike. And I understand that. So let's see what this is talking about. What is all this pertaining to? This connection. It's, you know, being able to have the confidence, but also knowing that there's some things that still require for you to make adjustments on. Definitely, um, you know, these changes or these, these, this communication coming to rush in to reveal secrets. This may be the adjustments that's required here. These secrets that need to be revealed about these options, about these choices. About money improvement, some of you need to save your money. Money is improving from some of you. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. What is this pertaining to for Gemini? They need to. You need to know that your hard work. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, so the devil is here in disguise. <laughs> Definitely in disguise because the devil has not showed up at all, which is strange because the last couple of days I couldn't get rid of seeing the devil. Um, but the Capricorn energy is here, but it's not showing it in deceit. It's just showing like you're working hard on the situation and you may need to be reassured that what you're working on is is doing great. You know, it's going to pay off just fine. What is this pertaining to for Gemini? Who else got healing from the past? I want to say Taurus or Virgo. Gemini, this is about your emotions. This is about you. This whole situation is about your emotions, Gemini. So one of the, I would say this, whether if, if you're a Gemini moon, this is for you. <laughs> um, if you are a Gemini sun or a Gemini rising, or if you're a Gemini also Venus, this could be for you. But if you're a Gemini sun or a Gemini rising, it's probably smart to look into where you're, um, you know, because this could still be for you, but you probably need to check your moon sign to calculate where your emotions are really at, at this moment. So like if you're a Gemini um, Aries or like a Gemini Cancer or like a Gemini Taurus, whatever you're, you are, Gemini Virgo, um, you probably would need to check your emotions, I mean, where your emotions sit with your moon sign energy so that way you could see if your energy is matching with anything in this reading as far as your emotions because um yeah this has something to do with probably you giving up on the way you you know closed off with emotions if you're retiring you know this has something to do with that but it, it it's, it's time to heal healing from the past is here now this is in limbo as well but it's also sitting, everything is in limbo, but it's sitting in the positions to where it can come upright and um, it, it, and move in a motion that's calculated for you. It, it looks like it's pretty, it's headed in the right direction, in other words. Um, 
looks like you're trying. You may want to heal. You're getting ready to heal. Or you need to be prepared to know that healing is on its way. Healing from the past, especially with your emotions. Here, it, the things that you've retired from, you, you need to know that you're stronger than you know. Some of us let go. And um, we can let the darkness take over uh, over our emotions to where we forget a light. We lose a light within ourselves. I'm a, I mean, I'm a Gemini um, Venus, so I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> but, you know, it's about bringing in a new way of doing things, a new energy, like, you know, a new way of um, developing. If you can't do it this way, try it this way. You know, if this is not working for you, maybe this over here will work for you. It's, it's almost like we we wear different sizes. We are different body shapes. So no medicine is going to be the same reaction to the same, you know, to, to different people. Um, you can't, it's just, it's, it's, everyone has a different way of doing things. And so what you have in a different way, you, you just got to follow that, follow a new exercise program that can lead you into an abundance um from maybe even your finances you know could take a good hit for the better being true to yourself and finally stand out stand up and stand out because um that respect to come along with it but the healing from the past is playing a big big part in in your emotions at this at this moment so i really strongly think that you should pay close attention to your um your moon sign gemini and if you are a gemini um moon then this message is probably definitely for you so let's go ahead and clarify this. Sorry. Some of you know, some of you could be dealing with the Aquarius. When it comes to healing from the past in limbo for Gemini, please clarify. This is this is something that is probably it's time for you to allow yourself to go through. This is just if this is the adjustment. It's, it looks pretty good. It's only up to you. Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> only you can prevent forest fires, Smokey. Smokey the bear. The bear represents the sun. The, re the bear represents... The bear represents um, coming out of a slumber of hibernation. The bear represents being a little groggy. You know, you, when they're stretching, a person will probably run because they're thinking they're getting ready to growl or some shit. But they really just being lazy. You know, <laughs> on some other shit. So, <laughs> only you can prevent forest fires, Smokey the Bear. And, and for some reason, this is coming out. So only you can bring the sun out of this situation, Gemini. Only you can, you, only you can come out of the flame. Um, literally, being the bear in the woods, you know, hibernating. If there's a fire, you know, you, are you going to lay in it and sleep? But this is about something from the past. This is either past thoughts, past feelings, past relationship, friends from the past that you may have grown up with in your childhood, childhood memories, it's a beautiful um, moment in time. Healing from the past, remember? So you definitely... Thinking about things from the past, things from the past that you put to rest, things from the past that you, you know, you're really thinking right now about these things from the past and you're juggling. You're juggling here. <laughs> Look at this. Juggling with trying to bring something here, bring another stability here, another, um, even if this is to yourself, bringing this into, um, just bringing it to life, you know, bringing it into reality. Um this old energy of emotions that you may have let go of. It looks like something may be growing momentum. Something is growing at this point. Like I say, confidence is the key because what? The energy is gaining momentum. Something is rising. The heat is rising. It's turning up. The, the thermostat is turning, turning up a little bit. 
And this is coming, you need to know that luck is on your side here, Gemini. Luck is on your side for prosperity. Prosperity and abundance and happiness, whether it's for you. This is this is a settlement. Um, I don't know if this is court or anything of that sort, but this is some type of settlement. And you just you just keep winning, you know, but nothing's set in stone at this point. Because these adjustments have not been handled. This healing hasn't taken place fully. It's stuck. It looks like now look, I could say it has it had you have started to heal and you may not be aware of it. I'm I'm gonna say it like that. Why? Because which because you're not in reverse where you're not allowing yourself to heal at all. You're in limbo on your way up hold on let me get it up on your way up so with you sitting in this energy like this on your way up <laughs> you you've you've allowed yourself to to heal and you may not have even noticed it because now you're being placed in a position to where it's being brought to your attention that you're in limbo not out of it but yet in limbo so it's being brought to your attention because only you can prevent forest fires. And limbo means it's being still. It's in slumber. It's laying there. So it's only up to you to wake on up from it. But now it's being brought to your attention that you have started to heal. You probably just didn't realize it. So what is this talking about? Ha! <laughs> Justice. Libra energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. But this is definitely being able to finally see that balance is taking place. You're able to get whatever deliberations and legal situations or whatever come into just for you in your favor. Also, if for some people you could be dealing with some legal situations that you may have to heal from, it's time to heal from these situations from the past. Yeah, because you know the truth is being found out. The, whatever the matter was that was affecting the balance, that was keeping it out of balance. You're, you, you begin to heal and didn't even fucking realize it, Gemini. That's what's up. What's up with the dang on? Okay. Maybe that's a confirmation that the healing is real. I pay attention to all types of signs, omens, confirmations, zoom, zoom, vroom, vrooms, like my door just opened up. So something could be coming in for you. Or, you know, and that you may not even really see coming. So, definitely got something from the past that you, you know, put, put down. And it's justice. It's all about it coming back in this case now. So, let's keep pushing. It looks pretty good so far. You got emotions from the past. You got to have the confidence to be able to get past that. Because whatever it was from the past and not your confidence level down... You know, you know, one person's trash is another person's treasure, sweetie. Just keep that in mind. Don't forget that shit. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes people don't realize what they got until it's gone. Real talk. And some people don't like hearing the real talk, but you're going you're gonna to hear that shit from me. You're going to hear the word real talk because this is real talk. Straight up. It is what it is. Most people that, what well, I ain't going to say, some people that say real talk or real shit, they probably lying. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. I ain't got time for that shit. Not when I'm giving my energy away. I don't. I'd rather be quiet and keep it to myself. So, let's see about this storyline. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, and your understanding. When it comes to... For Gemini, this mid-month reading for November, I mean, not for November, something could have happened in November or something could be happening in November. Um, this could have been November of 2020 or it could be November coming up of 2021. We have something coming in fast here, period. This is something... I, 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 but somebody may, mm, somebody either coming in fast for words to say something quick and they got they, they then you got somebody that could be coming in pissed the fuck off. I'm going to let the camera try to, but that, that they're not looking really happy. They mouth wide open. 
I mean, um, you can be hungry. This is some, something about the Knight of Cups. So something is definitely along the way. They could be coming in a little angry about some things that they felt like they lost. Somebody could be crying over spilled milk for sure. You know, somebody could be coming in trying to fix what, what they halfway did as well. Somebody could be looking back at what they halfway did and regret here. Let me take a good look at this real quick. Somebody could be coming in from behind towards someone that's not really, that they're looking back at you. They're, it's kind of like I'm looking back at this, at, at the situation because I, 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 I'm, should I have walked away from this? You know, but while they're looking back, they realize, hold on, who, who the fuck is this? <laughs> hold on, who the fuck is this coming? Somebody is on their way fast, and it's almost like you look back. But then when you look back, you realize that whoever this is or whatever this is could be on its way. Um, this could be um, something good for you. The knowing, the inner knowing about it. Now, this is a side note, sorry. This is a side note for somebody. You, you know, you know what it is that you want out of this. You know what it is that you need. But, and you got the laws in your hands. You got the laws on your lap as well. I don't know what that really means. But when I see the laws sitting on her lap like that, I feel like her legs are covered with the law. Meaning like you got to go by certain laws and regulations to deal with anything at the, on this level. This is somebody, whether it's a male or a female, I don't know what the high priestess, this is something she doesn't have to speak because, you you know, it's an inner knowing. And, and it's almost like you don't have to um, question this. Some people can try to get around it and see how far they can go. But this is a, a sacred law here that she holds in her lap. So somebody got that good, just saying Plus, it's like this night coming in kind of fast rushing in without really thinking. They're coming in for an apology or to give some type of cup of love. But, what's in this cup? You know, the cup, <laughs> the, the way, and the whole, they don't look like they up to no good. You know, it's a little lazy energy that I'm catching with this Knight of Cups energy. I feel like the movement is slow or it's groggy. I feel like um, it's almost off balance just a little bit. Need need more balance to this. But justice is here, like I say, to bring balance in so you can heal. So someone is coming in, but they may need healing. Someone may be coming towards you that still needs work on their healing, their emotions. Um, you could be dealing with someone that could be, uh, you could be going towards someone with this energy. You may still need healing or um, work. Personally, I can't even think about that type of stuff for me in my Gemini area because it's literally an intimacy and Venus. And I have no intimacy in my life. So, therefore, what reason? I, I don't, me, per, me personally, I'm not catching it. But somebody is... This is bored energy. But this is emotion. So who are you bored when you come up with this bored ass energy? Hold on. Let's clarify this. Someone, the, 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 what, what this person that sees this person coming in fast, trying to make something happen without really putting thought into it. They're stopping it. The sun is shining down in between this and this person that this person is coming towards this high priestess energy, whether it's you or someone else, they're, they're reaching their arm out like, no, mm -mm. no, they, they look back and see it, turn around and, mm -mm. and then come in with a light, a, a light. So I don't, you know, they, they look at how she's reaching for it and, and getting this light for what the sun is coming down on her, you know? And you see how right now she has the sun in her hand, but it's, this is secretive. 
So someone could be coming to rush in with some with, with, with some um, information or something that may seem like is is chaotic. I'm gonna say it like that. It may seem chaotic. You're looking back at this. You're looking back at this almost like a loss. But you reach for the sun, something that you're reaching for. And you grab the sun with it. Some, the, sun, the sun comes down on you while you're going for this situation. And it also helps bring a beginning of a spark of some type of new beginning that's beautiful. Beautiful. Along with a divine message. Success. Charisma. Sexuality. Almost like a covenant is being drawn with emotions. Someone is being treated and brought to justice and getting what they deserve. And sometimes what we deserve isn't bad. Sometimes it's great. It's grand. See? Gemini, you're worried about healing from the past because you're afraid of gaining this type of justice. You have it. But the thing is, is that with, with it is, is you, you, you bring in along with this the Knight of Wands when you really should be bringing the message of the Knight of Pentacles. See, the Knight of Wands is looking away. Maybe I'm going too far for you, Gemini. I'm going to stop with that because I'm telling you too much. Because it's judgment here and you're going to have to figure the rest of this shit out on your own. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. But I do want to clarify, definitely, because of, the Ten of Cups is beautiful. At least you know that that's, that's on the other end of the stick. If you allow yourself to realize that you've already started the healing process, you just got to recognize it and keep going. Clarify um, the Knight of Cups, please, for Gemini. I got the wandering off in the reading. Getting a little too into it. Okay. So you're releasing some type of burden and gaining the peace to go ahead and go towards this Queen of Pentacles. Gaining the peace to be, you know, to, 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 to sit back and enjoy. Some of you could be dealing with someone who has a child. Or you could have a child. And you're just trying to find peace of mind. I gotta find peace of mind. That's my shit. <laughs> Lauren Hill, peace of mind. You said it was in 